What's up guys, it's Jordan here again uh, today. I just decided to tour around this market, the market that I showed you in my last video. So today we're gonna be touring in here. Let me move to that side so that we can see uh, the vendors that we have brought here. What are they doing? So guys, this is the Machinga complex that, um, but the problem of my country I don't know, sometimes people, when they see camera, they're not ready to talk about whatever you just want to ask them. You know, they're a little bit hard to talk. But I'm gonna take a try and see that is what is going on here. Maybe I can try pass somewhere. Yeah, let me pass here. So, let me check you in. So this is how it looks inside. This is Machinga complex. I think uh, there is a uh, different things that they are doing a different varieties of things here. Let me go this way. But um, just want to share with you guys like what is going on in this Machinga complex in Dodoma. Guys, since this was open, have never been here. But let me try to walk out and see. I think some they have not opened. Let me take this way. Some they have not opened yet, but it looks to be so good in here, guys. And uh, uh, the government did something very, very amazing. Yeah, so lovely. This is how the market is. They're selling clothes and stuff like that, some other gadgets. But the music is always up here. Yeah. See guys, everybody's busy. I think there's food this side. There is uh, second hand in the new ones. This is a good thing, man. Eh? Wow. This is what is going on. Guys, I've never been in this market. But uh, I can see a very good job has been done. You know, it is clean as you see very clean and uh, I can see they're enjoying doing their jobs in here now, guys I'm not here to buy but I just wanted to come in and show you like uh, because I showed in at this but today I just decided to get in and show you like what is going on in this market and I hear you gonna see some fruits and uh, food here guys this is uh, the Doma, Tanzania, and uh, as you see, it's a bags and uh, clothes and stuff like that. This is how it works here in uh, Machinga Complex, the Doma, Tanzania. This is what you see, guys. It's real amazing. What I like in here is very clean. It's very, very clean, as you see, man. I think the time they used to be in those other places, it looks quite different from here. It's very, very different from here and uh, clean. Something that I like here is very clean. These are the second shoes. Wow. I can say big up to the government for uh, building this market. This has brought matching guys or vendors to be in a better place. You know? So good. It's really amazing. Let me go this way and see what is up here. Okay, I've been in Dodoma, but I never got a chance of seeing what is going on out here. Whoa. Let me see what's up there. 
Oh, it's here. Let me go this side. So this is how it looks out here. But this is the whole market. I think it has got uh, the two partition. One that side and this is the second one. Let's go see what uh, they're selling at this side. Uh, the, this side. You can see. I think it has done these people so good. Here they're selling phones. Some other small gadgets. Wow. There is a breakfast over there. Breakfast home of house. Wow. Beautiful guys. Wow. So this is what you can see in this market guys. It's real uh, clean. This is what it is guys so after this i'm gonna go uh, downtown to see if this has managed to bling all vendors around here because i know uh, the plan of the government was to bling all vendors in one place instead of being speeded in the street in downtown but when they said to do this we're gonna see if this has brought um, an impact. Sorry. We're gonna see this guys, so let's let me just move. And uh see, I think this is the urn. Yeah, see this. Oh. Big job has been done here guys. I think uh, so I just check it out here then uh, I'm gonna see in those streets downtown like like was this successful bringing all these people here was this successful but what I can say kind of like it was successful as what you see this guys it's uh, I can say like a, a good job has been done a very good job has been done and uh, you see this it's very very modern market has been built here and as everybody wished it to be it's real beautiful guys I'm here but um, I'm gonna take you to the streets in downtown or CBD so that you got to see if the issue was really successful, like bringing uh, uh, all the vendors in one center. So I'm gonna take you to the downtown uh, so that we can see. Few moments later. Yeah, guys, uh, let me take you here uh, so that I can show you the street that I used to have uh, a number of uh, vendors. It is down there. So guys, this is uh, downtown and that is a uh, migration office over there. Do you see? Let me take you there so that I can share with you the street that used to have a number of vendors. How that street looked like today. Over there, I think it's somewhere over there. Let's go see. Back in the day, that street used to have a big number of vendors. But I think now, let me go see if that worked out building that matching a complex market if has helped to clear the streets of Dodoma that maybe finally today we have a clean and not populated street here in Dodoma let's go see then uh, guys if you're gonna look to my first video that I was here I think some two years ago the street was full of vendors and uh, the plan of building uh, the matching complex that what has brought this clean to be a little bit clean you see now this place back in the days was full of vendors but um, you see guys how clean it is now so big up to the government the government has done something very good you see the street is clean now yeah so guys I think we, if we remember in one of my videos i passed this street and i showed you this street you know 
back in the days it wasn't easy to move along this street because uh, it was full of vendors but you see now it just uh, you can see vehicles are just parking let me take you at the other street where i passed back in the days i'm going to put a link of my last video and then you can make a comparison how it used to be and how it is so it was a very good calculation of the government or, or building that matching the complex now you see guys shops are clearly seen quite different from how it used to be the very first day that i passed around the street how it was and how it is it is real beautiful yeah so this is what the government has done and we should appreciate the good job of the government of tanzania for making this once again this street not populated guys this is the result of matching the complex i told you that uh, the big aim of uh, making this was um to do or to clean the street of downtown you see you can see that it's real clear all this street back in the days was full of people like even these shops like they were complaining kind of like they were all populated even them doing business wasn't easy but now i can now prove to you that uh, the purpose of building matching a complex has worked and uh, you can see by yourself it's quite different i'm gonna put the link of my first video when the matching complex was not built and uh, how it used to be and how it is today see so this is what it is i'm gonna keep showing you some few streets that i showed you before and then uh, you're gonna make a comparison you see? this is what you see guys so this is dodoma in tanzania east africa <laughs> yeah so now you can move so freely you know even you can even avoid pocket pickers but i'm not telling you that you have to just be free you don't have to take care of your stuff because i know a pocket picker that's still around so it's up to you now but it is not like how it used to be but back in the days it was much more harder to protect even your stuff but now it's cool yeah so yeah, they're a little bit tiny, but cool, as you can see. But so, you can imagine, back in the days, these streets are tiny, but still, people were selling goods along the street. Now you can see how uh, the matching uh, complex has changed the streets of Dodoma, especially downtown. Guys, this is all i just wanted to show you the difference of uh, this street how it used to be before uh, matching a complex and how it is today after building the matching complex it still has worked so well and uh, we should really uh, congratulate the people who planned all this to make it happen this way so i'm also you know I do not hesitate of congratulating all the you know people who put themselves into this and to have this uh, beautiful street as today as what we are seeing in the day but what I can just say guys Africa always gonna be built by Africans so like all Africans let us put our effort to our African uh, towns and cities you know build them to look much better you know you see all this now the streets are clean there are some a good number of people but streets are looking more cleaner than how it used to be back in the day so this is downtown dodoma and uh, this is what you can see i know some people they might be saying that what you always talk about moving the government uh, uh, to dodoma that that is what has brought all this yeah i'm I'm proud to say that because I know the Dodoma before government officials moving here and uh, the Dodoma that government officials they have moved here. I can see all this and uh, for those who have been in Dodoma before that I think they can be they can witness this what I'm saying. Guys 
But wherever you are watching this video, please comment and tell me where you're watching from and tell me what you say about this piece of Dodoma. What I can say, guys, these things work. The Machinga complex has brought this impact of Dodoma looking more different from how it used to be. So, guys, um, thank you so much for always being with me and uh, always keep supporting me guys so that uh, i keep on glowing i'm gonna keep on showing you street of dodoma every day not only dodoma is what i have been uh, showing you more streets but what i can just say guys thank you so much for always being with me and uh, keep watching don't forget to subscribe guys ciao